I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm on it. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You're covered, Kevin. Thanks, Melinda. Uh, wait, I have blah blah insurance, so person, come help. Hey, Grandma. Six callers ahead of us, Jimmy. You're not helping. Having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. There to help you anytime, anywhere, any way. That's getting to a better state. Margie Gray in Indiana and David Smith in Climber are there to help you. Hi everybody, I'm Carly Krause of the Indiana Gazette and I'm here at Blairsville High School and tonight I'm with girls basketball coach Ralph McGinnis. How's it going coach? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, you guys are coming off a tough couple weeks here. You had your first loss of the season, but you're coming into the heart of the Heritage Conference schedule and what are your expectations going into that? Well, we set up to go to that tournament to, to play the tougher challenges and, that, and DeLone was a very good team. Uh, didn't work out the way we wanted to, but we got a lot of lessons out of that game. So we've had a good, good couple of days of practice now, we worked on some of those things we need to do, and things are looking good for us. And coming into the season, there was a lot of high expectations. District championship two years ago, district semifinals last year. And do you feel like you have what it takes to do, get there again? Oh, yeah, we all, we do. I said, but we know we have to work every single day. I said, we take one team lightly in the wrong time and have a bad night, you, you can go home very early. I said, we learned that little lesson last year, not making it to the finals. Uh, so we're, we're going to keep plugging away every single day, but our expectations are to be there and make the stick of things at the end of the year. And then having all your starters back this year, what does that do for um, the team attitude? Uh, it's, the experience is great. I said I got a lot of leaders out here, and I got a lot of young players now getting a lot of floor time, and they're learning so much. Our JV teams getting so much better and better because they have to face this competition every day. So for the program itself, and having all this coming back, it's just great for us. And having someone like Chelsea on your team, she's been starting as a freshman, she shows leadership, um, she's good for whatever you need her to do. What's it like having somebody on, that, on your team like that? Well, again, we, we talk about having those certain plays when things are tough and we have our go-to players. And her and Laurel are the ones, you know, when times are tough, they're the hard-nosed players and they're going to try to get it done for us. So it's a big, big bonus for us to have a player like that. Uh, any big games on the schedule that you guys have circled? Uh, Bishop McCourt in a, in a week. We're going to go up to their court. Another one I scheduled in a box where the, the environment's tough to play in. And, and one thing I like about my girls, they they rather play those games than any other thing out there. They played Delone five more times if they could get them on the schedule. And the Heritage Conference schedule, uh, you guys have seemed to breeze through it in the last couple of seasons, and you expect to do the same? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I said, we have everybody back, and you, we haven't lost a game in the conference for a while. And, it start, it's just these kids' turn when it comes to that. It's not that the conference is bad. That's what everybody talks about. It's just that they're young. And it just, their youngness came at the wrong time. I said, but after this year, it's going to be an open table for a while. Everybody's going to be in a, get a fair shot at it. And what do you attribute the success to in the past couple of seasons? I mean, these kids have worked hard. There's a lot of AAU basketball from this group of kids. I said, I saw them working when I was at Richland my last year up there. And... Uh, that's it. They, they, these kids work. Our junior high kids work. They put in a lot of time, and, that, and you have to do it nowadays. I said everybody's playing year round. Mm -hmm. And then, how far do you think you guys can realistically go? I, I our goal is to go the whole way. I mean, we're not going to sit there and think we can't do it. As soon as we do, we're going to have that bad day. Uh, we, there's there's three teams out there we know we're going to have to get through, and they're tough. Ascension is tough. Sarah's tough. Kennedy Catholic out of the north. Bishop Guilford right around the corner. I mean, they're going to, it's going to be a fun district, and it's going to be a great state. And how does the experience that these girls have had in, in the district championship, district semifinals, state playoffs, how's that going to help you moving forward? It should help, especially being in the public school, to have this, minutes, this much experience over the last two years. Of, you know, these girls already had a district six championship, and they were runner-up. I mean, they had the third place last year. year before, they made it to the, in the state playoffs. So, I mean, they, it's hard not to enjoy that experience. Okay. All right. Thanks, Kish. Thank you.